Welcome to Self Love Ignited. My name is Katie Allen. I'm a certified health and life coach, and we are here to talk all things self love, self acceptance, body image, health, and total well being. You are going to hear from me, plus, you'll hear the stories of other women who have transformed this already. They have walked this path and they have really learned how to love and embrace all parts of themselves. We are here to help you be inspired, motivated, and to help you really transform your relationship with yourself to be a loving and positive force each and every day. What are you waiting for? Let's get to it. Welcome back to Self Love Ignited. My name is Katie. Today we are talking about healing your relationship with your body inside your body. And this is a really important conversation to have, I think, now more than ever, because our society as a whole really loves the idea that we can logic our way through anything, that we can reason our way through it, that we can develop some sort of technology, that there, we can develop an app, that we can develop something using our great big brains, using our minds, that will fix any problem. And here's the thing. There is a time and a place for everything. I absolutely believe that. And I believe that when our the challenge that we're really sort of working on, or working through, I should say, is one in a relationship, specifically your relationship with yourself and your relationship with your body, that's not a logical challenge. It's not math. It's not science, right? There's no algorithm that can, that can fix that. It's emotional. So therefore we have to really tap into the emotional center to find healing. And this can be done in a lot of different ways, right? So again, there is no one way. This is not a one size fits all. And like I said, I really do think that there is a time and a place to do, to use all sorts of different tools. But when you're really having a crap relationship with your body, right? If you're, whether you're really critical or really judgmental, maybe you just feel like, your body is always wrong or like it can't keep up. Maybe you struggle with your level of ability. Maybe you have, you know, an autoimmune disease, something like that, where you feel like your body's always letting you down. And when we're struggling with this, I really want to invite you. And this is, you know, part of the work that I do with my clients because it's just so important. I really want to invite you to move into your body move into your body to heal this. This is not, like I said, this is not something that you can solve in your mind or with your brain. And there's a few different ways that we can move into your body. So I just want to give you a few examples of ways that you may be able to begin using this principle in your own life. So the first one really is moving your body in a way that feels good. Now you may have heard before, um, you know, stuck energy is stored in different parts of our body. And when you go to yoga class, this is a very common thread. You know, you hear about um, emotions being stored in the hips. You hear about stress and pressure being stored in the shoulders and the neck and, you know, different people store things in different areas, but that's sort of like a rough thing. So if you know that you are storing judgment somewhere, if you know that there is criticism, if you know that you have baggage sitting somewhere, or if you have a lot of tension or tightness in a specific area of your body, begin to invite movement into that area and open it up. So this can be through something like dance. Dance is absolutely beautiful. It's something I'm currently sort of diving back into in my life. This can be through something like dance. Or it can be through a more um, like a guided practice such as yoga, right? Yoga is an absolutely beautiful way to do this, but it's really about moving your body because you have to remember when you are very critical or very judgmental, or when you're struggling with this relationship with your body, that's coming from your mind. 
right? That judgment, that criticism, whatever it happens to be in your particular case, that comes from your mind. And when we begin to go into our bodies, and again, moving your body is one way we can do that. It brings you from your head into your body. And it's not about being one or the other, right? We need, we need our brains. We need our minds. They're very important, but it's really about reestablishing a balance. And our culture as a whole, really Western, Western culture as a whole is very masculine based, right? It's a sort of a masculine way of being business is masculine. The media is masculine. There's a lot of sort of masculine energy, which is like that push, push, push energy. And that's very much head based. So when we're stepping down into our bodies, when we're really sort of moving inwards towards ourselves, that is sort of almost by default stepping into a more feminine energy. And feminine feminine energy, by the way, this is this is nothing to do with whether you identify as a man or a woman, right? We both have we or we all have masculine and feminine energies. But when you're really sort of in your body more, that is where you are inhabiting your feminine energy which is by nature flowing which is more nurturing which is receiving which is gentle so uh, like i said one way that you can really begin to do this is move your body and when you move you will find over time right it is a process this is a practice but when you can really be in your body in that movement, in that yoga practice, or through that dance, however you however you choose to move, you will find that your brain gets quiet. That judgment gets quiet. And another really beautiful way to do this is meditation. You know, just, just a really simple guided mindfulness meditation. Because that really, again, is about quieting the mind and being in the moment. And there's all different types of meditation. There's loving kindness meditations, which are really beautiful, right? Again, to heal that relationship, bring a lot of love and kindness to yourself. But there's, you know, there's all sorts of meditations. You can use um, a free meditation app. Um, Personally, I use Insight Timer. This is not an ad for Insight Timer. I just really uh, love what they do. I have um, a whole bunch of published meditations on Insight Timer as well. Um, specifically to help with this. I will make sure to put a link in the show notes um, if you're interested in checking those out. But meditation is another really beautiful way to help you sort of sink into your body. There's also something like EFT um, or tapping. It's the emotional freedom technique, emotional freedom technique, which is also known as tapping. Again, that is bringing your words and the thoughts in your brain and literally through tapping different energy meridians on your body bringing it into the physical, right? So that's another great one. And then another way that I do this with my clients is through a coaching session where there's a lot of talking and we're talking about different things is I actually have some specific exercises that I do in sessions to help my clients step into that and embody these new sort of beliefs that we're creating and and that sort of thing. That one's a little bit harder to do on your own, but there's a lot that you can do to begin to turn inwards towards your body. And again, I just really want to say that there's a time and a place for everything. I, I know I said this at the beginning, but it really bears repeating. I'm not telling you to turn your brain off. I'm not telling you to get out of your mind completely. I'm talking about reestablishing a healthy balance and remembering that when you are having a really challenging relationship with your body, the vast majority of the time, that criticism or that judgment that you are experiencing, that's coming from your head. So the more we can get you into your body, using all of your senses and really stepping into appreciating how your body moves, appreciating your breath, appreciating the feel of the breeze on your skin, appreciating the smell it's in the air the smell of fresh coffee one of my personal favorites maybe it's the smell of the flowers or the ocean breeze fresh cut grass when you're really in your body and using your senses and not in your head so much 
that is a beautiful place to begin to heal this relationship with your body. It's absolutely beautiful. So I would really encourage you to just try experimenting with this. Maybe over the next day or two, set aside a few minutes and just have a bit of fun. Begin to see what feels good for you, how you can really arrive in your body and begin to quiet your mind a little bit and have fun with it. Remember, this doesn't have to be super serious, right? Like you get to have fun. This is like the grand experiment of life. So I would really encourage you to dive on in, give it a try. If you would like some support, if you'd like to chat directly with me about how to do this, get a bit more specific, talk about your exact situation. As of the time of this episode going live, which is October 2020, I am offering free calls. If we have not spoken before, if we've not worked together before, and you are curious about what working with a self-love coach looks like, if you're curious about what working with somebody who can mentor you and support you through this process of really coming home to yourself and learning to love the skin you're in. If, if you're curious about what that would look like, I would really invite you to book a free call with me. I'll make sure to drop the link in the show notes um, so you can click on through and do that. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here. I really value your time and I honor you for getting curious and opening yourself up to self-love and opening yourself up to healing your relationship with your body. It's an absolutely beautiful thing. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. As I mentioned in the episode, if you want to check out some of those guided meditations that I have, these are totally free over on Insight Timer. The link to those is in the show notes. Also, if you are interested in booking yourself a free call, the link to do that is in the show notes as well. Thank you for being here. Here is to you falling head over heels in love with all that you are.